Ask Reddit by Sasquatch. You have died and find that instead of going to heaven, you've only leveled up to Earth 2.0. What are some things that make Earth 2.0 better but not quite heaven? You can fall asleep for any amount of time and feel completely rested. What do you consider sleeping? Because if it's just closing your eyes then that's heaven. Back and joint pain doesn't exist. This answer is so underrated. I wouldn't mind being 30 if it didn't come with so much back and joint pain, lord. The intercity passenger rail system in my country will have finally evolved beyond the 1940s. Canada? Wait no. America? Wait no. Australia? Wait no. India? Wait no. All poops are now wipe free. Would be pretty handy with the current panic buying actually. 4 hours of sleep is equivalent to 8 hours in Earth 1.0. Sounds like we're already in 2.0 and cats are in 1.0. Unlimited teeth. Yay. No more nightmares of all my teeth falling out. Currently I feel I'm beta testing a 3.0 and finding that it's just a shitty cash grab. Yeah, these unskippable cutscenes are killing me. No mosquito. Sounds like heaven to me. Deleted. But if they're not deciding at the front, then how will I have enough time to decide before reaching the front? I'm getting food just as fast, but now I look like the asshole. You don't stub your toe. He said not heaven. Character customization options before you spawn in. Or at age 18, like leaving the vault in fallout. Yeah but never get caught on anything and get yanked out of your ear. They also don't get tangled. TV shows are never cancelled prematurely, so writers have time to prepare an ending and you will always get some closure. No more hangovers. No spam, robber calls, pop-up ads, scammers, etc. You can replay your dreams in your head like a movie. You don't have to worry as much about spoilers because people no longer feel compelled to ruin things for others. Coffee tea soup is never too hot so you never burn your tongue. You must love a good TV series. Fourth color receptor for your eyes. You can see 100x more colors this way. Just imagine. As a colorblind guy, just give me three working ones and I'm good. Maybe there's an actual overnight pill to treat illnesses or mental health problems. Edit. First gold and it's for a positive thing. I'll take it. Also thank you whoever for the gold. My birthday is next Wednesday, and I'll enjoy the treat of premium with it. Or just no mental health problems. No ads. You know what would be better than no ads? A Starbucks Capuccino for just 1.99 if you order within the month of May. Alarm clocks to wake up to are abolished. We will wake up when our bodies choose to be ready to. Operating on a 30 hour schedule instead of 24 hour schedule is socially acceptable. Everyone uses their car blinker. I still think you're asking for too much. 4 day work week. Deleted. People have more respect and compassion. It won't stop people from doing horrible things, but maybe most people will be a little nicer. Not as many people causing harm from road rage caused by careless driving. Not as much civil unrest. You won't get fired because your car broke down and you literally can't make it to work. That would be nice. Yeah. I would love to see a world where there is a little more understanding of people's situations. Kindness should be a default not something that is earned. The big name games are still $40 each and the DLC is included in the main game. Makes sense. EA wouldn't get into Earth 2.0. It'd be rotting in hell. 
deleted. Think in Earth 2.0 everyone is using USB-C's takes me 5 tries to put in my damn tablet's charger. My phone has a sweet USB-C charger though, fits both ways. Everything needed to live is easily affordable. The work week is only 20 hours, and wars are not fought, but instead played as sports with no one getting killed. American, football is actually well suited to this, taking territory from the other side is just like gaining yardage. $100 a month put into a savings until the age of 18. So 21k when you turn 18? You can put foil in the microwave. I had a teacher who maintained that you can drink absolutely any type of liquid, it's just that some of them kill you. In a similar vein, you can already put foil in the microwave. It's just not a good idea. Butter has the perfect spread ability straight out of the fridge. Can I be happy at least one day a week PLS? Yes, but in Earth 2.0, a week is 10 days. Unlimited breadsticks. Olive Garden already exists. You finally know how to react when people sing happy birthday to you. What if this is Earth 2.0? X-Files theme plays. All furniture feet are offset so they are underneath furniture deep enough so no more stub toes. You fool, our shins will learn the lessons our toes have forgotten. We may even, and I hesitate to say, hook our toenails underneath the furniture. This may be a Twilight Zone styled hell. 8 hours of sleep each night. And school boards respecting scientific studies saying that students need the sleep instead of hours of homework, potential jobs, and the generic school day added on top. Three day weekends and work days start at 10 a.m. School days start at noon and end at 3. On Earth 2.0 mental health is no longer a want. Everyone understands how serious mental health is, and there are days dedicated to kicking back. Now everyone is able to manage their stress and anxiety appropriately. For the last time, he said not heaven. Firefly is still airing new episodes. And up to season 20 by now lol. You have a yes or no option on your body, a switch appendage of sorts. That lets you choose whether you want to fuck or procreate. Like behind your wisdom teeth or some shit. Kids vs no kids. On off. Fertile non fertile. The same exact thing happens every time you die. You go to the next earth and they all have the same timeline. And you keep the knowledge of all previous earths. You can try to craft the perfect timeline which can either be hellish or you can perfect your life with the right knowledge. After you get to Earth 92.0, people always start bitching about how easy everything is, and demand to have Earth 1.0 back, and so they create a virtual Earth 1.0. The process repeats, fractally. Actually waking up well rested. This just sounds like those reincarnation animes, so I'd say magic and shit of that caliber. Half the wait time at the DMV, so like an hour and a half. Free wifi. There are no slow walkers there. Everyone walks at a suitable speed, no dawdling. No one chews loudly or talks with a full mouth. Healthy food tastes as good as unhealthy food. You are not screwed if you don't have health insurance. Scandinavia is Earth 2.0? Everybody is nice, but might be irritating. Save points. I don't have constant chronic pain, don't have to exercise to stay fit, and can eat whatever I want but stay healthy and feel great, and don't gain weight. And there are no assholes I mean jerks. You can still take a satisfying shit. Daily. You can be anything you want, 
LGBT, Muslim, Jewish, etc and literally no one will give a single fuck and won't bother you for it. Can I be a trans Muslim Jew? No limited climate change, and no Jehovah's Witnesses to harass people. The Jehovah's Witnesses that came to my house actually only came out to talk to my dad about the work he was doing on his Corvette. If all Jehovah's Witnesses were as cool as they were I would be okay with it. Panji. Humans have way better long term thinking, critical thinking, empathy, and compassion. Major mental illnesses don't exist, minor cases stay, those bugs are being worked out in 3.0, nobody is born with major birth defects things that will screw them for life, like damn at least give people a chance. And for fun, everyone gets to pick one super tiny super power to have. Nothing crazy or all powerful, just like, they can make their favorite flavor of ice cream appear, they can bring dying plants back to life. They can change the color of their hair etc etc. All children are left the fuck alone. 